Hello and welcome to this week's programme. Today we feature news from around the regions, including the UK, Europe and America. Coming up. Return of demand elasticity in Germany as solar installations set to soar. Work starts on the world's largest solar bridge. And which team created the most energy efficient house in the solar decathlon? Demand for PV installations in Germany is set to soar, according to the latest report from market research firm IHS iSupply. An anticipated spike in demand in the third quarter didn't materialise, but the current fourth quarter is expected to see demand elasticity return, with total installations for the year expected to reach 5.9 gigawatt. However, Germany would still be down 20.4% from 7.4 gigawatt in 2010. The overall decline in installations may not be viewed as a positive within the industry, but the weak demand environment until now means a mini-boom for suppliers and installers through to the end of the year. So the first half in Germany, markets were really weak, but now at this current price level, 1.6 euros uh, per watt for ground installations, 2 euros per watt for residential installations at that price level, uh, markets have really changed in September. We expect a mini boom in October, November. Wholesalers and installers import uh, business is coming back. The result of this will be a uh, really strong Q4 in Germany with 2.7 gigawatts installed in this quarter, leading to 5.9 gigawatts total. On global level, markets are in a pretty good shape as well. More than 20, 22 gigawatts are uh, expected for 2011 and 24 for 2012. However, uh, contribution of the German market will, of course, decline, but Germany will be replaced by uh, other important markets, mainly China and the US. Staying with Germany, the 78 megawatt portion of a 148 megawatt PV power plant near Berlin was recently opened by the Prime Minister of Brandenburg. Developed by EPC contractor Saferay, the Senftenberg plants are located on a former open pit mining area in eastern Germany. The latest portion of the plant, which is part of what is being called the largest PV power plant complex in the world, was completed in three months and uses 330,000 crystalline solar modules and 62 central inverter stations. The complete solar park is said to have a total installed capacity of 166 megawatt. In Bulgaria, EPC and project developer Phoenix Solar plans a 50 megawatt multi-site solar park in Kazanlak. Construction of the first phase of the project, which is being built on 114 hectares of land belonging to the municipality of Kazanlak, is scheduled for the end of 2011. Phoenix Solar is currently in discussions with several investors to sell the project now that all the necessary approvals and legalities have been granted. In the UK, work has begun on what project developers have hailed as the world's largest solar bridge. The new Blackfriars station, which is being built on a bridge spanning the River Thames in the heart of London, is on its way to becoming an iconic installation for the UK PV market. The Victorian Bridge, built in 1886, is the foundation for the new Blackfriars station, which is being upgraded to cater for more travellers. A new roof added to the historic structure will incorporate over 6,000 square metres of Sanyo's high-performance HIT PV modules, also creating the biggest solar array in London. The company behind the solar engineering and installation is London-based Solar Century. The founder and executive chairman of Solar Century, Jeremy Leggett, is a speaker at this year's Solar Power UK conference and exhibition being held later this month in Birmingham. Turning to the US, on the last official day of the Loan Guarantee Program, the US Department of Energy was busy announcing the finalisation of several massive PV power plant projects as September drew to a close. The latest and final round of DOE loan guarantees totaled 4.74 billion US dollars for 1.78 gigawatts of PV projects. The big winners are First Solar and its owner partners, 
which saw more than 2.1 billion in partial or complete loan guarantees awarded for the 550 megawatt desert sunlight project and the 230 megawatt Antelope Valley Solar Ranch 1 projects in California. The biggest single project earning a loan guarantee was Prologis and NRG's Project AMP, a 752 megawatt rooftop plan with a partial guarantee of $1.4 billion. The other awardee was SunPower, which received a guarantee of $1.2 billion for the 250 megawatt California Valley Solar Ranch site. The closing of the loan guarantees also triggered the completions of the sales for Desert Sunlight, AVSR and CVSR projects. First Solar has begun construction on both sites. AVSR is expected to have its first blocks online in late 2012 with completion of the project by late 2013. First Solar said it will deploy 12.6 million cadmium telluride thin film PV panels on the Desert Sunlight and AVSR projects. SunPower has also begun construction on CVSR and said it will see partial operational power by early 2012 and full completion in 2013. The project will feature the largest deployment of tracker systems technology using SunPower's high-efficiency monocrystalline silicon panels of any PV plant in the US. The total gigawatt hours generated by the four projects once they are fully constructed and operational will be about 3,598 gigawatt hours per year, according to GTM research data. Put another way, they will account for nearly 3.6 terawatt hours annually. Desert Sunlight alone will be a terawatt generation station, with an estimated 1.28 terawatt hours of grid-tied energy produced per year. And finally, the University of Maryland have won the US Department of Energy's Solar Decathlon 2011. The university was named as the overall winner for its design, build and operation of the most cost-effective, energy-efficient and attractive solar-powered house in the competition. Purdue University came in second place, with Team New Zealand made up of Victoria University of Wellington finishing third. The collegiate teams competed in 10 contests during the 10-day decathlon, with each contest measuring the house's performance, livability and affordability. Each team performed everyday tasks in its house, including cooking, laundry and cleaning dishes, so that the energy efficiency of the house was able to be tested. Out of a possible 1,000 points, Maryland earned just over 951 points to take the top spot. Well done, Maryland. Well, that's it for this week. You can, of course, keep right up to date by visiting pvtech.org for the latest news, views and reviews. Until next week, thanks for watching.